the lengths one will go just for a clickbaity thumbnail. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Hey! Welcome to Mint Green Creative. My name's Todd, and uh, today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my mic locker, my condenser mic locker. They're all condensers, they're all mics, and I keep them all in a locker. I wonder who does keep them in a locker. I don't know. I just, where did this come from? Why is it called a mic locker? Why do people say that? I need a locker. <laughs> So I've got too many microphones. I've got 11 mics, as far as I know. Um, I like doing the reviews. I'm, I like microphones, but I don't need 11, and I don't use 11 of them. I use one or two of them. So I figured that I'd make a video showing you all the mics that I have right now while I still have them because I'm going to sell them. And, uh, yeah, so let's just get started. Mic number one, the SE Electronics X1S. This microphone was great. I used it as my primary voiceover microphone for probably about three months. So I got some good use out of this and I think it's a great value. Always gonna appreciate this mic. This got me, you know, I really, this is when my voiceover stuff started to really take off with this mic. The WA87R2. Uh, this mic I used for like a week. I reviewed it and I loved it. And I think it's awesome, especially on singing vocals, but I am going to sell this because I don't use it. And the reason why I didn't use it very much is because while it's an awesome microphone and I love it, I don't love it for voiceover as much as I love this guy right here, the Sennheiser MKH416. Uh, I used this mic for probably a good six months for voiceover. And while I'm not currently using it right now, stick around, I'll show you what I use right now for my voiceover gigs. Um, while I'm not using it right now, I will in the future off and on. And I think it's just good to have around. You know, there's a reason why it's a standard in microphones. Let's go with this guy, the AKG P120. This, at about $100, is a fantastic microphone. And if you're a beginner and you're trying to get into like voiceover or singing or whatever, this is probably the microphone I would get. For an entry level microphone, I just don't think you can beat it at this price. It's a wonderful mic and I actually traded this with my brother, um, so I haven't used it a whole lot. I did a review on it, but I think this is a fantastic microphone for the price. This is the MXL V67. It's an interesting looking guy. It's got gold and green. You don't see that on a microphone too often. I got this used, I get most of my mics used on eBay. I got this used on eBay uh, for the hell of it because I paid like 30 some dollars for it. P.S. If you're in the market for a microphone, eBay is such a great way to go. Why would you pay full price for something that's made, in many cases, to last such a long time? I've never had a mic not work anymore. Uh, this microphone I've bought, stay tuned to the channel if you'd like to see the review on this coming soon. The MXL 770. Plugged it in a couple of times just for fun and... It's a really good microphone. They're all good microphones, man. I mean, if you're into microphones like I am, what you'll find out is especially with anything under $500, they're all pretty good. They're nice, especially if you know how to, you know, edit everything and post, you can kind of make it what, what you want. I think noise floor is probably the most uh, important or the most, the thing that really separates one mic from the other. The Shure SM27, a freaking sturdy tank of a mic, but small, such a cool mic. I am gonna sell this, I think. Oh yeah, I'm selling the, the MXL mics. I'm selling the SE Electronics. I'm selling the WA. I'm keeping the MK416, the Sennheiser. I'm selling this guy. Uh, next, a mic that I've always been excited about that I haven't used much. I just plugged it in briefly. 
this guy, the Sennheiser MK4. I know some people don't really think it looks cool. I think it looks awesome. Sennheiser is so great at making microphones and audio gear. Uh, I use their their 240s or 280 Pros as well. The, the problem is I'm gonna sell this after I do the review. Review coming soon, stay tuned, because I'm not gonna have use for all these microphones. I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, why do I have all these? Like, it's pointless. They're just sitting around collecting dust, but they are cool. I like just looking at them, I don't know. Uh, here's an interesting one. I used this microphone for voiceover for the better part of a year. This is the Cam C3. Uh, it's one of the small microphone companies uh, to where they claim to have the U87 type sound, although it's like a $125 microphone. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this was my microphone for about a year. Um, and, you know, I was always intrigued by the companies that were like, hey, this is like a U87 kind of sound, only it's one one hundredth the price or whatever, you know what I mean? So, um... I got some good use out of this microphone and it was fun. And uh, I don't know if I'll sell it just because it's such a, it's such an off brand and it's like not super well known that, you know, if it normally goes for 125, I'd probably have to mark it down quite a bit to sell it. I don't know. Maybe it's a good keepsake. This is kind of where it all started for me. Uh, this guy I used for voiceover for about two weeks and I ended up going back to the Cam C3 after using this for a while. Um, this is the Audio-Technica AT20, nope, not 20, AT2035. And uh, I think the 2020 is probably better. I don't know, there's something about it. It's just a little off. I mean, it's solid, but for the money, I, I don't know. Definitely selling this one. So that's all of them. That's my mic locker. I don't know, it's kind of cool to go over them and talk about them kind of you know I, ha I have a few memories with each and like where i was at in that time when i was using that microphone um it's been a journey um and then the reason why i'm getting rid of all these microphones and the reason why i don't even use this mic anymore or this mic right now for voiceover is because the mic you're hearing right now can you even see it is the the mic you're hearing right now is the it's the Neumann TLM 102. And after using the Sennheiser for so long, it was time. I'm like, man, I gotta get a Neumann. I gotta see what it's all about. And to be honest, when I watch videos where they compare Neumanns with other microphones, a lot of the times when they put them side to side with other microphones, I honestly can't tell a huge difference. It's, it, and that's why like, it's fun to make these videos reviewing microphones and it's, it's fun to compare microphones. It's fun to buy microphones if that's what you're into. It's fun, you know, it's great. Like you're watching this video right now because you think microphones are awesome, me too. But when you plug the Neumann in, there's a difference, man. It's just like, okay, I've used a lot of microphones. Um, you know, besides even these microphones, I've used some microphones that have been, you know, really, surprisingly awesome or awesome just because of how nice they were from a price standpoint too but there's just this difference and i can't imagine what the difference would be going from the 102 to the u87 which i guess i'll find out one of these days if you're thinking about neumann just know that any of these microphones that i've used over the years uh, with exception of this microphone there have been little things here and there to where it was just like, you know, this is a great microphone, but there's something about it that's just falling short. And it's not always easy to put my finger on what exactly that is, but with the Neumann, it's just like, to this day, I mean, I've been using this microphone for probably two months now, and it's like, I mean, I use it every day. I work every single day, like eight hours a day, I'm talking to this stupid microphone. And it's just, it never gets old you never just take it for granted about how nice the microphone is like it's always something that's just like damn and i didn't always want a neumann but anyway i'm starting to ramble now and you know sometimes i script a lot of these videos but uh yeah this is just kind of my reaction how i feel about all my microphones why i have all my microphones and uh you know i've reviewed a lot of these and a lot of these i haven't 
So uh, if you want to see some more in-depth about that, then uh, yeah, come back uh, at another time and hang out. So let me know what you think I should do. Do you think I should get rid of all the microphones except this one and the Neumann? Uh, do you think I should keep some of them? Uh, let me know down in the comments and let me know what your favorite microphone is. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe it's something that I haven't checked out before. Uh, maybe it's one of these guys. But uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Mint Green Creative. My name's Todd. I'm uh, having a good time. Take care.